All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box. Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness, putting the healing back in health. Don't forget when you go to that website, I got two free gifts there, one on setting goals, one on Nutrition 101, giving you a breakdown kind of of the basics for those who are just getting into it. This one's going to be a spiritual video as well. I did a video on meditation. And just being aware of God, check that video out. I'll try to put it in the description box, but once again, I'm horrible at that, folks. You just scroll through the spiritual or Christian, however I got it labeled, section of the channel to check that out. So there's going to be another one. Once again, it is Ignatius Prayer from St. Ignatius. And this one is going to be a contemplative reflection, meditation of your day. Now. This one's a rough one to do because it can take a while, and I won't lie with me. Sometimes at the end of the day, after I've done everything right before bed, I tend to fall asleep. So I'm going to start trying to do it a different way, but I'll just start with the, with the, the normal way that he has. So it's reflection. So what does this mean? We're just reflecting on our day. So I am a firm believer that everything kind of happens for a reason. You know, every person that we come in contact with will have something valuable to add to our lives, just like we have something valuable to add to their lives. So unfortunately, with the busyness of our day, whether we're at work, you know, at the gym, grocery shopping, whatever the case may be, we tend to miss a lot of these things. We're listening to the radio. We're trying to do two things at once, trying to multitask. Whatever the case may be, we just tend to miss these signs. There's just too much outside interference, right? So this is what this reflective, contemplative meditation is great for. You sit at the end of the day. You don't have to do it before you go to bed. Whatever it is when you get home. And you just sit there and go exactly through your day. From when you got out of bed, what you did all morning going through your house, driving to work, what you did at work, what you encountered at work. Anything that you can remember along the path from getting out of bed, to whenever you're performing this exercise and just trying to figure out what you might have missed or just anything that happened to you. And you will realize that a lot of stuff happened to you that you probably didn't even notice or recognize. Some stuff might have been coming in subconsciously. You know, you just witness it out of the corner of your eye or maybe a coworker was talking to you or someone at the gym was talking to you and you were too busy in your own thoughts and you missed it but when you're able to actually sit there and just kind of reflect and contemplate what happened during the day these things will start to come back to you and it's going to be very helpful you know it's kind of sad that we our attention span you might say is so small that some people when you talk to them they don't even remember what they had for dinner last night they don't remember it's sunday right now they don't remember what they did friday night you know, we don't remember any of these things. And this is just another exercise to help recall something that's happened through the day. This will also help with, you know, remembering people's names and things like that. I don't know if I made a video on something like that where I heard some things where they say, like, if you meet someone, of course, you always want to repeat their name to them. You know, if someone introduces you and says, hey, hey, this is Russell, you shake their hand. Hey, Russell, nice to meet you. I'm John, whatever the case may be. I'm Russell. Uh, you know, and then it's supposedly 45 minutes later, say their name again. Six hours later, say their name again. Next time during the day, at least one time, try to think of that person's name. From there on, three days later, try to recall the name. So this is what we're just going to do throughout our day. This is what we're going to do at the end of our day. And like I said, at the end of the day, it can be a little rough and difficult. So what I've been trying to do. And once again, I struggle like anyone else when it comes to trying to add this prayer and meditation into my life is to start doing it at lunch. So start at lunch. You know, you're about to take lunch before you eat, after you eat, whatever the case may be. Sit there and just contemplate on what happened from the moment you woke up to when you went to when you went to lunch. You know, and then when you get home, do the same thing. What happened from lunch? to bed or lunch to getting home and just kind of contemplate what happened 
how you felt? You know, did you feel good at the time? Did you feel something? Did you get a bad vibe? Whatever the case may be, did you feel like some like God was with you? Um, you know, just whatever thoughts came to your mind. This is valuable information that we are not using to our advantage on a daily basis. You know, whatever experiences are happening in our life, these are experiences that are in our lives to teach us something. So we've got to learn from them. So once again, I hope this helps. Like I said, I think this is a great meditation prayer that you can do, just kind of reflecting on your entire day and just to figure out what messages were really trying to be sent in your direction. So once again, I hope this helps. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.